Hey folks, Clark back with you from CMP RV. I'm going to talk a little bit today about building a generator bonding plug. Most of the new coaches, especially one that's rigged for a generator, uh, an onboard generator, is going to have a transfer switch in it. Uh, and that transfer switch is not going to work if you connect your generator, especially if it's a portable generator, you're not actually using an onboard Onan or something like that. It's going to uh, force you to have one of these uh, type of plugs. Uh, and so rather than buy one, which costs about $15, we're going to walk through how to make a, a bonding plug from a, a, a connector that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's, a uh, plug just like you would use to repair an extension cord, uh, and a little bit of uh, wire to cut up and, uh, and make that plug. First thing we got to do here is open the plug up. Uh, so you're going to use a, a, a screwdriver, probably a Phillips uh, in this particular case. And then we're looking for two, the two connectors right here. The silver one is your neutral and the uh, green one is your ground. And we're gonna bond these two uh, together using a short piece of wire. Um, this is essentially the way that a home is wired or an RV park is wired. When you go to plug your 30 or 50 amp connection in, back up the line, the neutral and the ground are bonded together. And that's what your transfer switch is looking for uh, and if you have an inverter in your RV, um, you also may run into the same issue where it's not recognizing the fact that your generator is connected because those two must be bonded together. Most generators have what's called a floating ground. Uh, and when you put this together and put it into your plug on, your, on the uh, generator, what it's going to do is it's going to create the same thing that, that the uh, system would see if you were plugged into a pedestal. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to use a, a piece of white wire here because this is, again, a neutral uh, to ground, and typically you hook the white wire up to neutral. Uh, and I'm just going to cut a short piece off, uh, and we'll see whether we can do it with that piece. And next, I'm um, going to loosen up the neutral and the ground, hook this over. Now, a little, little secret here is if you get it oriented correctly, this is the way an electrician would tell you to do it, um, you're going to hook that wire so when you tighten it up, it's not trying to force the wire out of the, uh, out of the connection there. See, So now we've got it in there, we wrapped it around that way. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tighten back up my connection here. Okay, so I went back and redid this just to clean it up a little bit uh, and make it a little bit shorter because I was having a hard time getting the thing to close. And, uh, and so now I've got it nice and clean. It's nowhere near the hot side. We don't want to have it near the hot side at all. It runs right around here on this side and it's good and tight now. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and button it up with my, uh, my piece of uh, co covering from this Romex uh, kind of wrapped up in a, in a small piece and stuffed down inside the corner right here so that it closes up that back end hole. So I had some one inch gaffers tape. Uh, this closes it up nice and clean and it also makes it stand out as a, uh, as a unique piece. So if you uh, have a multimeter, you can uh, very quickly check to make sure this is right. Uh, you got your multimeter here, you should be able to see the reading there. Uh, when you close that circuit, it's gonna go to zero or some small reading. Uh, when it's an open circuit, it's gonna read one. So we're now gonna check this post, which is the neutral side against this post and it goes down to zero, and we're gonna check it against this post, and it stays open. And we're gonna check this side against the ground, and it stays open. So again, we have a closed circuit between our neutral and our ground, and that's exactly what we wanna have.